Welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Cover Call video. Guys, today we are gonna talk about MGM. We're gonna talk about when, cash secured puts, covered calls. We're gonna talk about the projects happening with my learning series and the CTP dashboard. Before we get there guys, I wanna say thank you for subscribing to the channel. Man, 930 subs and man, bang that like button guys. Let me know you like what I'm doing. I love it when you bang the like button, it jacks me up. Guys, let's get to it. We are going to talk about my learning series. That's coming. A lot of people ask me about that. I've got all these slides ready to go. I just have to narrate them and you're going to love it. Look at these guys. I give you all kinds of scenarios, man. It is a clean deal. You're going to love that. Hey, the CTP dashboard, guys, that's coming, man. I only have a few more tweaks I got to finish up. This is my all-in-one stock research panel or dashboard. I love it, guys, because I'm able to search things based on stock price, earnings reports, dividends, so on and so forth, guys. This free version that I'm going to put out, I want you to be a part of it. Go ahead and just email me right here, okay? Look, guys, I'm no web designer here. Don't ding me for that. <laughs> hey, guys, let's jump right into it, all right? We are going to talk about the $10,000 challenge. We're going to talk about MGM when cash secured puts and covered calls. So let's get to it. Let's jump to it, guys. The $10,000 challenge is underway, and I've already made my first purchase. Guys, remember, the $10,000 challenge is one for which I will only use $10,000, and I'm going to try to use all my golden rules so I can show all the small ball players that we can do this, man. Here's the deal, guys. We do not want to break some of our golden rules, and one of the golden rules we cannot break is the fact that we are going to own the stock. We need to own the stock. So we need to want to own the stock because at the end of the day, when a stock goes higher or lower, you are on the hook because you own it. So you got to be able to sleep with it, guys. Well, in the case of my very first purchase, kicking off the $10,000 challenge, I picked MGM. MGM is one of those stocks that just falls in my wheelhouse, guys. For me, I have not a problem holding MGM. But guys, because we're only using $10,000, you know, we have to bend the rules a little bit. So MGM is not an S&P type company, doesn't pay the juicy dividend. You know, it does pay a dividend. There are just certain things, my golden rules, I want a 2% dividend, things like this. Well, in the case of the $10,000 challenge, I have to use, you know, some great companies. Look, I know some of you say, hey, look, you can take $10,000 and invest in some great companies, but I think most of you really want to play with two, three, and four contracts so we can really have fun and make this profitable. Now, the only way I'm going to do that is if I find great $30 stocks so I can buy three or four contracts, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my CTP dashboard to search the great $30 stocks. I'm going to make sure, you know, they don't have earnings. I'm going to make sure that they pay a dividend. May not meet the 2% dividend criteria that I have, but remember we're bending a couple rules because we got to squeeze this into $10,000, okay? So in the case it was MGM, guys, my first play, you know, uh, the earnings reports had come out for the casino stocks and they had a nice little run up. MGM, Wynn, Sands, you know, and I thought the earnings report sell off had already happened. Well, I stuck it in right here at 32.41. I wrote a nice, what seemed to be 30 day covered call out here. Uh, it was 825. Okay. So I got 40 cents for this guys. So with a stock appreciation to 3350, I was going to make about 4.8% on this trade. If my shares were taken away, well, what happens? I misjudged it. And here we go. MGM starts to fall. And my option that I got paid 40 cents for dipped down to 10 cents. Now, you know how I play this game. I am dynamic. For me, when that option fell from 40 cents down to 10 cents, Fidelity doesn't charge me a fee if I buy it back for 10 cents. So for me, what am I going to do? I'm going to buy this option back. Yes, I'm going to give away 10 cents of my 40 cents to alleviate my obligation. Now, some will say, John, ain't nobody buying your shares off you at 33.50. So why don't you just let this option play out? Well, for me, look at this. This is almost 20 plus days of me sitting there trying to capture that 10 cents. I would rather pay back that 10 cents, right? Making only 30 cents. Yes, I'm in the hole, but alleviates the obligation. Now I can look for another strike, another premium. We 
can make this work. And what I'm gonna do is this, guys. I've, now that I've bought this option back for a dime, I'm gonna wait for MGM to give me a couple updates if I get it. Now, that's gonna be tough in the current news cycle with North Korea, but here's the deal. I think with the news cycle past us, and I think if we can get some updates on the market, or even sideways, Wall Street loves to come back and play these casino stocks because right now, we have a lot of good news on that side. So with that said, I'm going to keep playing MGM here. So what is the plan? Well, at this point, guys, with the stock being at 30.59, I'm in at 32.40. I have to look to be very careful, maybe write an out-of-the-money strike close to my 32, uh, 32.40 cost basis. Of course, now it's 32.10 cost basis. And let's hope we can write some out of the money strikes here and uh, keep this going now in this case guys i'm down on the stock but that doesn't mean i'm out i'm going to use my exit strategies to make this work now in this case i might actually write a cash secured put maybe a covered call out of the money we're gonna you're gonna find out and that's why i want you to come back and watch the the updates to the $10,000 challenge because I'm gonna make this dynamic. And again, some of you are gonna shake your head like, man, I would have never done that play. Some of you are gonna say, wow, I, I didn't see that. I enjoyed that. We're gonna go with it. Okay, guys, let's talk about win. You know, win is one of those stocks where I've made a lot of money on win. And in fact, recently, I've deployed the cash secured put. Now, I told you in my last video where I had written some, I had written some cash secured puts on win when the stock was headed higher. Actually, no, the stock had fallen. Uh, what had happened here is as the stock was going higher, I had my shares assigned. Then we get a little bit of a sell-off here. I remember the day, I think when it hit 138 and it had fallen like five bucks on some Macau news. So I took that opportunity to write it two cash secured puts down here. Now, what happens to one of the cash secured puts as wind starts to turn around, right? That $3.50 cash secured put I got paid had fallen down to a buck buck 10 it had fallen down to a buck 10 so i bought that back i took that obligation off the board making money but my other cash secured put wasn't so lucky because as wind started to fall down towards that strike price guys i was getting stuck with it and i showed you in my last video where i only added to my cost basis there's no cost basis here i added to the loss only a buck pardon me 80 cents so I took that off the board, just waiting for a better play. And what I did was, as you see right here, what I did was I wrote two cash secured puts lower, lowering my risk, right? Going from 125 to 123, and I picked up some premium, and it turns out I was able to buy those two back for 10 cents. Bought them back for 10 cents, guys. Uh, and there was time decay there. So so it was August 11th was the, was the date so I was able to, as it was trading here at 130, right? That 125 and 123 had just shrunk down from the 125 I got paid down to 10 cents each, bought those back at no fee, no cost. I relieve the obligation for my cash. I wash my hands of win. Guys, all of these cash secured puts, these cash secure puts, guys, the last four that I did, I did the math on it, guys, $1,160 profit. Now, I don't know where that works out in terms of the percentage, but guys, for me, cash on cash, love pocketing $1,100. Guys, I'm going to finish this video on money made. Yes, money made because I want to give you guys some inspiration, some motivation, just to show you where I'm at. Guys, I told you, from the very beginning, this was an exercise in could I do this strategy in retirement? If I needed the month on month cash, could I use my portfolio to generate, to spin off added cash? Well, I had a very modest goal of $12,000 this year. Look at this guys, $27,000 as we roll into the month of August. Guys, this is unreal. I've had some months where I am knocking down five G's. Look at that, even had a month where I had 4,000. And hey, last month's $3,000 total, not too bad. And August is setting up to be a good month. Hey, we're only halfway through. I'm gonna make some trades and add to that total. Guys, the reason I do this, the reason I do this at the end of the day is that somebody out there, somebody out there that wants to learn the strategy, right? They wanna learn, I tell my story. 
so you can learn something from what I'm doing, okay? And if I motivate you to keep you in the strategy, man, that is all the better. Hey, I am here so you can see me put on trades, see how I work the trades, and you learn something. That's, that, at the end of the day, guys, that's all I hope for is that you learn something. That's why I want you to bang that like button. Look at that, man. Don't even have my thing up. Bang that like button, guys. Man, ring that bell so you get that email notification the next time I do a red hot cover call video. And guys, share this video, man. Let others know we are talking the good word of the covered call and cash secured put. Hey, look, until next time, I hope all your covered calls are profitable. All I see is signs. All I see is dollar signs. I'm a man.